All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. I hope you've all had a fantastic Tuesday and you're ready for some Leeds United transfer news. It's been another busy day at Leeds United. But before we do get all into the Leeds United news, be sure to smash that like button. I've been asking for 500 likes and you guys have been absolutely smashing it. So let's go for 600 likes. Get down there right now and smash a like for me. Also subscribe if you are new. Look how close we are to 11.6k. So let's try and hit that tonight. I'm going to give you three seconds to subscribe. One, two and three. Thank you for subscribing and also comment today your score predictions for Ipswich Town versus Leeds United this coming weekend. I'm not actually I'm not actually here. I live in Ipswich and this is the one game I can't go to. I'm in Germany. So that's not great at all. But anyway, let me know your score predictions uh, down below. And without further ado, let's get into the Leeds United transfer news. So the first bit of news we are going to talk about is Lewis O'Brien to Leeds United. Is it now finally happening after years of Leeds United and Marcelo Bielsa and just the club wanting Lewis O'Brien, it could be getting close. According to Alex Nixon, Leeds want the long pursued target of Lewis O'Brien. Forrest are looking to sell and he's been liked by the club for ages. I'm just thinking Ampadu and Lewis O'Brien in the middle of the park and the double pivot is would be the best in the league. I'm not even joking there. That would be the best in the league. Ampadu next to Lewis O'Brien. This is what we've been screaming for. It's what we've been dreaming of. I just think that that duo gets us out of the championship. I do. I do. I know that's so crazy to say because we've started off quite poor this season. But I just think it does. I think Lewis O'Brien technically is a very, very good player. Um, people are saying agent click because obviously he's been out there uh, in Dallas or DC United. Sorry. And uh, yeah, so people are saying that. Uh, I, th I just think Lewis O'Brien is, is the right is the right man for the job. I, I honestly do. But um Listen, I really hope, like, before these rumours don't just fall apart, I really hope that there is some credible source, some credible rumour to this, because I believe Lewis O'Brien would just be the perfect fit for Leeds. And he got me excited, similar to how Ampadu did. You know, some signings you're and you're like, eh, I don't know about this. But if we do sign Lewis O'Brien, that would be a game changer, I believe. Obviously, we still need more. I think that's a step in the right direction. Um, next up, big news coming out of Ellen Road from Phil Hay. Willie Nonto returns to first team training. Phil Hay has said Nonto is back in first team training and it's up to Farker to play him against Ipswich. Uh, I've put, you know, this is either him saying, you know, fair play, I'm staying, I can't leave. If that's the case, we need an apology. Uh, I know the club and the fans, especially the fans, have reacted in in a way that's not acceptable. Obviously, we've seen racism. That's stupid. Only, you know, the most stupidest people in the world lead to that. You, you can always have a go at someone's technical ability, but it's got nothing to do with their race, their their gender, their, you know, what they believe in. It's got never anything to do with that. So I'm disappointed to call myself a Leeds fan when I when I see things like that. Um, so maybe we need to apologize to him as well. It needs to be a mutual agreement because that's not fair. But the way he's also treated the club football related hasn't been fair either. Um, so we need that. Or it's a fact that we've accepted a bid and he's returned to first team training for the next week or two and then he will go. Apparently those similar stories happened when Tyler Adams returned to first team training. He left about one week later to Bournemouth. So that could be the case or Willie Nonto. I know I know the 49ers were you know saying he's not for sale. We're reluctant to sell him. We're not going to sell him. So he might have just been like fair enough. Okay, I'm staying. If that's the case, we both, you know, Leeds fans and the player need, you know, to have like a mutual agreement, a mutual sorry and get on with the season and hopefully get Leeds United promoted. And then he can play in the Premier League all he likes. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the latest coming out of Willie Nonto. Um, he's returned to first team training. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Is the beard, uh, is the bridge been burnt, sorry? Or are you willing to accept Willie Nonto back into your life? Let me know in the comments down below. Next up, Leeds lead race for Glenn Kamara. Obviously, the last few weeks has been all Glenn Kamara. That's all we spoke about. And then it kind of goes quiet and then it goes big again. This is according to Sky Sports Scotland. Leeds are leading the race for Finnish international Glenn Kamara. Reports suggest the fee of around five and a half million. I've just put it here. Get it done. We've been waiting for weeks. You know, he. I don't think he's the... I don't know if he's the... I would prefer Lewis O'Brien, but if it's numbers, it's numbers. You know, we looked at the bench against, um, against West Brom. There were seven people on the bench. Two of them were goalkeepers. And it's kind of like... Ugh, you know, what is going on here? So Glenn Kamara, Lewis O'Brien, I'm, I'm happy with anyone. We just need more faces. We need five or six more players or red light. That's, that's being, that's, I think that's realistic to say five or six more players. You know, uh, if we could keep on to Cine, Nonto, then fair enough. There's more of a squad there. 
But still, yeah, looks like Leeds are leading the race for Glen Kamara, which is good. Hopefully we can get that one over the line. And I hope Leeds United just kind of maybe one day we announce two signings. Do you know what I mean? I hope something happens like that. Uh, but last but not least, we are going to talk about, according to Sky Sports reports, Leeds are interested in uh, Genk striker Joseph Paintstill. He's one of a number of strikers Leeds are looking at. Apparently, it will cost the club around eight to ten million pounds for the uh, Genk striker. Um, again, don't know too much about him. I did have a little read of people's, uh, you know, stats and things like that on Twitter. Looks decent. Obviously, Leeds, you know, need a new striker. You know, we need a lot of new players. So, and we definitely need a man who can find the back of the net. And is uh, Joseph Payne still going to be the guy? I wouldn't mind him. I think he's put up decent numbers for Genk. And he can, is it Genk? Jenk? Genki? I don't know what it is. I think it's Genk. Uh, he's put uh, decent numbers up for them. So, wouldn't mind him in a Leeds United shirt. But I wouldn't mind anyone at the moment in a Leeds United shirt. But I just do want to wrap this up by just saying, you know, I'm happy talking rumors. But let's get things done, you know. And people are saying we've got to be patient. And the players we brought in have been good. They've just taken a longer time. You know, Ethan Ampadu, Sam Byram, you know, has actually had a very good season so far. Um, who else is there? Amp uh, Joe Roden, who had a very good game against West Brom. But the thing is, I I'm kind of losing patience because it's not like we're flying in the league and then we should be waiting on more people to come in. It's kind of like we're not flying in the league. Players didn't want to play for us and we still don't have any signings. So as fans, I think we've got a reason to be a bit impatient and a reason, you know, when rumours come out, we want to be there. I, I would rather, you know, not give you guys rumours and actually Leeds just confirm some players because that's what I would rather, you know, have than just saying, yeah, Leeds are leading the race for this. Leeds like him, Leeds like him, but let's do something about it. You know, there's 10 days left of the transfer window, Yeah. And we still need five or six players at a minimum for me. So I, I really don't know. I really hope the 49ers are doing something because if they're not, this is going to be a horrible season ahead. I tell you, this is going to be a horrible season ahead. But some good news, you know, coming out of Leeds United today. Lewis O'Brien to Leeds. Uh, that's according to Alex Nixon. Things are getting heated there, which is good. Willie Nonto returned to first team training. Really let me know your comments on that. I want to know what you guys are thinking. Leeds lead race for Glen Kamara. That's according to Sky Sports Scotland. And according to Sky Sports reports, Leeds are interested in gank striker Joseph Payne still. But he is a number of strikers Leeds United are looking at. Guys, that wraps up today's Leeds United transfer news. If you guys did enjoy this video, let's try and smash 600 likes on this video. I know that's a lot, but... We can do it. Also, subscribe if you are new as well and comment your score predictions and your thoughts on Willie Nonto and all the transfer rumors we spoke about today. I've been Ollie Ward and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Oh.